Good morning. It's Wild and Crazy Natty back again. And I thank you for joining our party. Today we're going to talk about time, the issue of time. And it's often, often elusive and slips away easily. I'm going to say now at the start that today I am going to reward the first person to leave a comment and the 15th person to leave a comment. I am going to give you your choice of my walking pouch. And this is my walking pouch. It has a keychain, a holder down here, place for your phone here, your water bottle here, and it goes across your shoulders. So the first person and the 15th person will receive my gift of a walking pouch. <clears throat> well, now back to the issue of time. Something happens between our busy adult life filled with responsibility and family and work obligations. And when we reach the other side of, say, 60, time seems to speed up. I realize it when I go to take my supplements and I have to stop and think if I've already taken them. It usually seems like I did take them, but then when I check my little box that tells me when to take them and what to take, it looks like I've already taken them. So that's really upsetting. And I can't remember anything right now worse than losing my memory. And it's a common complaint of seniors not knowing whether you've taken your your medications or not, and especially for someone that takes critical um, uh, prescriptions and things that, that are life, you know, depend your life depends on. So I use this to let me know for sure. I fill it up once a week. It's got four times a day, seven days so I don't ever forget. And if I've already taken them, this box of little cubby is empty. So, now um, I can remember back when my kids were growing up and I was knee deep in diapers and soccer and PTA. And I had a friend who seemed to get more done in a day than all the rest of our friends together and she was the true epitome of the saying if you want to get something done ask a busy person she had four kids of her own she was president of pta room mothers for her two school-age boys she would organize the bake sale for whatever fundraiser we were responsible for she would host the christmas white elephant gift exchange as well as the cookie exchange. She would be the scorekeeper for her son's baseball team and a soccer mom too. And one day, I couldn't believe my eyes when I drove by and there she was in a little lawn chair sitting on the side of our main road that goes through our quiet Cupertino neighborhood and she was recording the actual uh, car license numbers of each car that passed to determine which cars actually lived in the neighborhood, the occupants, or those that were just passing through. <clears throat> and it was a study being taken to see if we needed speed bumps or stop signs to prevent through traffic. But she was the one doing that. And she also is why she also made uh, crocheted blankets for all three of my sons. So yeah, she was a great role model. 
for caring and giving and um, being concerned and participant. And if anyone knows her, they will remember what a socially responsible person that Barb Koppel was. The last I heard, she was a member of the Parks and Recreation Board of Directors, then on the City Council, and she even ran for Mayor of Cupertino. Wow, I will give three hats off to Barb. As, and she right now is nearing 80, because she's a few years older than me. <coughs> so I wonder how Barb um, manages her time now. And uh, maybe she'll see this video and respond and, and we'll get to know and I'll do a follow-up. Um, with electronics this and elect auto that, life is getting easier, which should leave us more free time. And that reminds me of another story. I live on the East Coast now and my dear sister, she's 18 months older than I am, she lives in California still. And we talk at least twice a day and share our woes and highlights of our lives. Well, I called her one day and she was flustered and nearly in tears. And I asked her what was wrong. And she said that she was sitting in the middle of the floor with all of her bank statements and bills and receipts spread out around her. She had been working for hours trying to balance her bank checkbook. Well, she said she always balanced her checkbook and this time she couldn't find the mistake. <coughs> well, I was amazed um, and impressed since I hadn't balanced my checkbook in years, not since I started using my debit card to make purchases. That makes it almost impossible to record everything. Well, when I told her that and that I didn't even know anyone who ever balances their checkbook book today, she was relieved. Yes, times are changing. So this is my conclusion. The more you have to do and the more you get done, the slower time goes. When your daily routine slows down to a snail's pace, time speeds by. So does that make sense to anyone else? Um, so, in order to slow down our clocks, we have to get busier. And just because you don't have to set the alarm clock anymore to get up in the morning or you have no kids to pick up at the bus stop uh, promptly, that doesn't mean that we can't fill our lives with meaningful activities. Who among us has free time? to devote to some meaningful activity. I think we all do, and I'm in that boat too. It doesn't have to be routine, uh, nothing much that has to be done by any particular time, but I find that I'm just not motivated to squeeze in even 30 minutes of exercise every day, or the three times a week recommended. Um, and remember, I'm the one that said, a minute wasted was a minute lost. Hmm. Well, I've come a long way since then. That's youth and optimism, I guess. Well, I'm going to start a list of possible activities that we could commit to, in addition to the 30 minutes of exercise that we all need. So here goes. How about volunteering at the hospital to deliver newspapers? Well, some towns don't have newspapers anymore, but maybe magazines or maybe circulating library books um, to a hospital or maybe to a jail or a prison. Or taking, how about new uh, or photos of newborn babies? That would really be a fun job. And uh, I'm sure the parents would love it. Um, how about being a cross guard um, at the local elementary school? And like my friend at the grocery store, Joyce, that I told you about last week, uh, 85 years old, 
and works at the grocery store, um, handing out samples of bakery goods and cheeses. And if you did something like that, you would even get paid for it. And this time of year, stores are clamoring for part-time holiday sales clerks. And soon every single um, store will have a sign, help wanted sign in the window. And I know that preschools and elementary schools have love having volunteers come to read to their students. And here's something else. A few years ago, I saw a handicapped woman struggling to carry her groceries out of a taxi cab and into uh, the apartment building that we both lived in. And I offered to help her. And that ended up me taking her for her monthly grocery store uh, shopping and helped her around the store and in my car to and from the store and getting her groceries into her apartment and put away. So you might put a notice on a bulletin board that you're available to help seniors. Uh, there's also an uh, organization that collects lap blankets for nursing home residents. And those could be quilted, sewn, knitted, crocheted. And also hospitals accept newborn baby caps, handmade, crocheted, or <clears throat> or uh, knitted, and if you are crafty, that's something that you might do. Well, I'm tired even thinking about being that busy. It, it sounds exhausting, but I know it's good for me. It's good to be active, keep my mind alert, prevent that memory thing going on, and we'll have another whole video about that one. Um, so I'm going to uh, follow my own advice and figure out what I can do to slow my time down. And remember, I, well, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be the one to say, to describe myself as do as I say, not as I do. So I'm going to do, I'm going to participate and use my own advice. Well, it's been a pleasure meeting you again and spreading, uh, spending time with you and please increase our community by sharing and don't forget to leave. Well, for the fun of it, I searched Barbara Koppel's name on Google and sure enough, I found this. Barbara Koppel, Activities Monitor, Sun City, Roseville, LinkedIn member. Well, three cheers for Barb. She's a couple of years older than I am, and still she ranks as one of my most highly respected and admired people. Well, please leave your comments, like, share, and subscribe with notification with that bell. This is Natty saying goodbye. May God bless you and keep you safe. Until next time.